everyone. Welcome back to Math Room by Teacher Joan. Here is another lesson in basic calculus and it is all about evaluating limits using the limit theorems. Here is the learning objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to apply the limit laws or theorems in evaluating the limit of algebraic functions, polynomial, rational, and radical. In the previous video, we presented and illustrated the different limit theorems. Let us start by recalling these limit theorems. We have the limit of a constant, the limit of an identity, the limit of a constant multiple, the limit of sum or difference, the limit of multiplication, the limit of division, the limit of a power, and the limit of radical or root. Let us now have an example in evaluating limit using the limit theorems. Example number one, evaluate the limit of a polynomial function 4x minus 7 as x approaches 3. Let us now write the solution. Observing the given function, we can first apply the limit of subtraction. So we can now have the limit of 4x as x approaches 3 minus the limit of 7 as x approaches 3. The next thing that we can apply is the limit of a constant multiple for this first term. So we can remove the 4 from the limit. So we can have 4 times the limit of x as x approaches 3 minus the limit of 7 as x approaches 3. To evaluate the limit here, we can apply the limit of an identity. As we all know, in the limit of identity, we'll just simply substitute the value of c to x, so this becomes 3. So we now have 4 times 3 minus the limit of 7 as x approaches 3, we can apply the limit of a constant. So the limit of 7 is the constant itself, which is 7. To simplify, let's apply multiplication first. So 4 times 3 is 12 minus 7. The answer is 5. So we can now conclude that the limit of 4x minus 7 as x approaches 3 is equal to 5. Let's have another example. Evaluate the limit of this polynomial function 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 as x approaches negative 2. Let's begin with our solution. The first thing that we can apply is the limit of an addition or subtraction. So we can now have the limit of 2x cubed as x approaches negative 2 plus the limit of 3x squared as x approaches negative 2 minus the limit of 1 as x approaches negative 2. Observe that on this 2, we can apply the limit of a constant multiple. So we can now have 2 times the limit of x cubed as x approaches negative 2 plus 3 times the limit of x squared as x approaches negative 2 minus the limit of 1 as x approaches negative 2. The next thing that we can apply is the limit of a power. For this case, to evaluate the limit of this, we substitute negative 2 to x, then raise it to the power of 3. So we have 2 times negative 2 raised to 3 plus 3 times substitute negative 2 to x, so we have negative 2 squared minus the limit of a constant is the constant itself, therefore it's 1. Next is simplify this. Cube of negative 2 is negative 8, so we have 2 times negative 8 plus 3 times the square of negative 2 is positive 4 minus 1. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. 3 times 4 is positive 12 minus 1. Negative 16 plus 12 is negative 4, minus 1 is negative 5. So we can now conclude that the limit of 2x cubed plus 3x squared 
minus 1 as x approaches negative 2 is equal to negative 5. Example number 3. Evaluate the limit of this rational function 2x over x plus 5 as x approaches 4. Let's begin with the solution. The first thing that we can apply since we have quotient of two functions is the limit of a division. So we now have the limit of each individual function, limit of 2x as x approaches 4 over the limit of x plus 5 as x approaches 4. Next is to apply the constant multiple for the numerator. So we have 2 times the limit of x as x approaches 4 over for the denominator we can apply the limit of an addition so we have the limit of x as x approaches 4 plus the limit of 5 as x approaches 4 this is equal to 2 times the limit of x as x approaches 4 applying the limit of an identity and that is equal to 4 over the limit of x as x approaches 4, applying the limit of an identity, it is 4. The limit of 5, which is a constant, is a constant itself, so 4 plus 5 equals 2 times 4 is 8, 4 plus 5 is 9. So we can now conclude that the limit of 2x over x plus 5 as x approaches 4 is equal to 8 over 9. Example number 4. Evaluate the limit of this radical function cube root of x squared minus 4x plus 3 as x approaches 1. Let's begin with the solution. The first thing that we can apply is the limit of radical or root. So this can be written in the form of the cube root of the limit of x squared minus 4x plus 3 as x approaches 1. Next, in the radicand, we can apply the limit of an addition or subtraction. So we have the cube root of the limit of x squared as x approaches 1 minus the limit of 4x as x approaches 1 plus the limit of 3 as x approaches 1. The next thing to do is to evaluate the limit of each term in the radicon. So we have the cube root of the limit of the first term applying the limit of a power and that gives us 1 squared minus applying the limit of a constant multiple that is 4 the constant times the limit of x as x approaches 1 which gives us 1. So we have 4 times 1, and the limit of 3 as x approaches 1 is a constant itself, which is 3, so we have plus 3. Simplify, we have the cube root of 1 minus 4 plus 3. This gives us the cube root of 0, which is equal to 0. So we can now conclude that the limit of the cube root of x squared minus 4x plus 3 as x approaches 1 is equal to 0. Example number 5. Evaluate the limit of the square root of 3x minus 2 all over 1 plus 2x as x approaches 2. Let's begin with the solution. The first thing that we can apply is the limit of a division. So we take the limit of each individual function. So we have the limit of the square root of 3x minus 2 as x approaches 2 all over the limit of 1 plus 2x as x approaches 2. For the numerator, we can apply the limit of radical or root, so it will become the square root of the limit of 3x minus 2 as x approaches 2 all over apply the limit of addition so we have the limit of 1 as x approaches 2 plus the limit of 2x as x approaches 2. Next, for the numerator, apply the limit of subtraction. So it will become the square root of the limit of 3x as x approaches 2 
minus the limit of 2 as x approaches 2. This time, we can now evaluate the limit of each term. So for the numerator, we have the square root of, the limit of this is 3 times 2 minus the limit of the constant 2, which is 2, over the limit of 1 is the constant 1, the limit of 2x is 2 times 2. Simplify. For the numerator, it will become 6 minus 2 over 1 plus 4. This numerator becomes square root of 4 over 5, which is equal to 2 over 5. So we can now conclude that the limit of the square root of 3x minus 2 over 1 plus 2x as x approaches 2 is equal to 2 fifths. After presenting different examples in evaluating limits using limit theorems, kindly check your own understanding. Compute for the following limits of the given functions. You may pause the video to answer these items. Let's check your work. First, the limit is 16. Second, the limit is negative 5 over 3. Third, the limit is negative 1. Fourth, the limit is 4 is square root of 2. And the fifth item, the limit is 2 thirds. Did you get all of these answers correctly? If yes, great job! What are the important things that you need to remember? Evaluating limits can easily be done using the limit theorems. Make sure to familiarize yourself with the 8 basic theorems on limits to ease the difficulty in understanding limits. This is the end of our discussion. I hope you have learned a lot in evaluating limits using the limit theorems. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to be updated. Bye everyone! See you on our next video.